Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I will be looking at the FireEye FireWire digital camera. What is included in this package is the software, the 6 foot FireWire cable, as well as the product itself. The key features of this camera is a focus here in the very front. On the left hand side we have a power connection as well as a connection here to give you the ability to daisy chain a bunch of these together. On the right hand side here we've got a connection which goes directly from this camera into your computer system. Now if your computer system has a FireWire card already well there's not going to be a problem but if you do not have a FireWire card you will have to purchase one in order to get this kind of camera to work. On the back here we have a really nice clip it's rubber there so it's fantastic if you have a FireWire ready laptop and you want a very high quality camera on the top of your notebook or your laptop and as well this clip does swivel back and forth as well as going in and out so it does give you very good movement and you can certainly place the camera and direct the camera or cameras where you wish. The sensor type is actually a Sony W Fine a quarter inch CCD color progressive square pixels and as well the resolution on this camera is VGA 640 by 480 as well the optics built in is an f-stop of 4.65 millimeter lens and it has an anti-reflective coating as well the frames per second that this can capture is around 30 frames per second of course you can do 15 7.5 3.75 frames per second depending upon the software of course and the settings you're using in the software itself and of course you have all kinds of adjustments automatic and manual white balance for instance as well as the color saturation and of course the backlit compensation the sharpness and of course this does come with a software sleep mode you can actually put this thing to sleep in so many minutes let me now have a look at the FireEye software. I will be using a Shuttle SS50 computer system here and this system does come with FireWire installed onto it. So very easily just go ahead and plug it in here and of course the other part of the cable goes plugged directly into the camera and once that's done of course you will have installed the hardware part of this installation and the next thing of course would be to do would be to install their software. Once you do plug the camera in you will be able to go into the device manager and under imaging devices you'll see that a generic 1394 desktop camera has been installed or if there's a yellow explanation icon there you'll have to right click on that and go ahead and select the correct drivers. Now these drivers I would recommend you download directly from the internet so you ensure that you have the very latest drivers for your operating system in my case I'm using Windows XP so again right click here on this generic 1932 and you go ahead and select update driver and of course when you are updating and selecting the driver you will want to do this manually and go into the directory which you downloaded or which you have on your CD and select the correct camera in this case it's the Sony CCM-DS250 this is the software that is included at the top there you can see which camera actually is installed the pixel format and of course the pixel format you can change you can have what I have selected here which is the default YUV422 of course you could go in here and select these other options as well below here you have the resolution you can select 320 by 240 or you can select 640 by 480 and of course dependent upon the resolution will be very dependent upon the frame rates for instance if you select 320 by 240 you can go 30, 15, 7.5 or 3.75 frames per second or if you go 640 by 480 you can go 15, 7.5 or 3.75 per frames per second. Also further down we have memory presets of course you can save presets or load them and the last thing here is the camera control this is probably the most important part 
of this software. You can go in here and tweak such things as the exposure. And in the exposure, you've got things like the exposure, the shutter, as well as the gain, as well as the iris going into the color area. Of course, you've got more settings here for the color, as well as a basic area to adjust the focus, the brightness, the sharpness, and the gamma in here. Once you do have all the settings to your preference, you can go in here and click on the start button. Of course, this activates the camera, and anything you point it at will come up on the screen. And you can see here that this is quite a very crystal clear display. Also, of course, if you want it full screen, you can just go ahead here and maximize it and pull it up to the full screen. And again, the quality of the image is quite good. As you saw there, this product is extremely easy to install. FireWire has been around for quite some time now, and it certainly is a very stable and proven technology. Whether you're using this camera for your home or for your office, or if you're into webcam or just some kind of video conferencing, this will certainly do the job and do it very well. The only disadvantage with this camera I could find is of course the price. The price point on this is a little high and of course let's not forget if you do not have a FireWire card in your system you would have to go out and purchase a FireWire card. FireWire cards these days are becoming extremely affordable. You can get them for like sixty or seventy dollars depending on of course the manufacturer of the FireWire card you are getting but overall this is a great product again my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review be sure to check back in a few days I will have a brand new one for you then also check out my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there check out the forums registration in the forums is free of course and you can go in there and leave your own suggestions and comments until the next time take care